Well, let me bring in uh, Lori Aretzian. She have you were having a little technical difficulty, but I'm I'm glad to see you got it straightened out. So thank you very much for joining us. Uh, uh, we truly appreciate thank it. Thank you and, for having me. Oh, you're welcome. And I, I want to get your assessment of the case thus far, because again, I, like I said, it's been fascinating around here to see uh, the different opinions on whether the prosecution has actually proven their case. So let me get your uh, opinion off the front. I mean, it's an interesting case, uh, at the least. You've got a convicted murderer who suddenly decided to implicate his wife. You've got everyone who seems to care a lot about him and wants him out of jail uh, at some point in his life. Uh, his mom, his daughter, a neighbor, people that he's grown up with. They're all, they all seem, I almost, I can see a defense lawyer saying, it's almost like a conspiracy by his loved ones and him to, to do anything possible, right, to get him out of there, uh, whether it be in 20 years, 30 years, whenever it is, at least to get him out at some point. And that would mean that, you know, I can see a defense lawyer arguing in this case that it was a setup. They're setting up his uh, current wife and, well, not current wife, no longer, because he's got, he's trying to curry favor, obviously, with the prosecution. So maybe you can see, um, uh, at some point, he can see himself out of jail. And also, he's also very upset with her uh, because she did leave him. She uh, left him. She promised to stay with him, but she did not stay with him. Instead, she left him. And look at what he did to another woman that left him. He yeah. strangulated her. He killed her. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very brutally. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes. I mean, so we know what he does to the women who leave him. And that's a, the prime example is here. So it, this isn't far, it's not far-fetched for a defense lawyer to argue that look at what he's doing. He'll do anything to get his revenge from this woman, yeah, including I, implicating her in this murder. Why, why did he wait all these years? What was he sitting on? And why did it take this group and all these years for all of this to come out? Yeah, I mean, you're raising all the wonderful points that the defense has been raising throughout in their cross-examinations. And we're going to take a look at one of them. One of them is that they've sort of gotten together, created this cabal and this conspiracy to get either a less time for Chad Cobb, but certainly to get uh, Erica Stefanko put behind bars. So we'll explore all that. You guys, please stand by, Laura and Imran, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute to explore that. Stay with us.